Speaker. Uh, several times this session, you've heard me speak on truth and focus. Today, I'm going to focus on focus, and that is simply this. Entrepreneurship is the backbone of America's economy. The Small Business Administration research shows that 99.7% of all firms in America are small business. They create more than half of the non-farm gross domestic product, and most importantly, they create 60 to 80% of all new jobs created. The Kauffman Foundation, started by the founder of Marion Laboratories, is one of the largest foundations in the United States and is the world's largest foundation devoted to entrepreneurship. The foundation conducted a survey January 19, 2010, focused entirely on the mood of entrepreneurs as it relates to the economy and policy. Unfortunately, most entrepreneurs have a fairly sour mood. I can't say that I blame them. 61% of entrepreneurs say the economy is on the wrong track. Only 7% say the volume of their business has increased in the last year. Only 8% say the profitability of their company has increased, only 8% say they have created a job in the last year. 71% do not expect to create a new job in 2010, and another 15% simply aren't sure. 83% expect the recession to last at least two more years. When asked directly what they, the entrepreneurs themselves, those that create jobs, thought would be helpful in allowing them to grow their business and create desperately needed jobs, a few of the highest ranking ideas were this. Research and development tax credits, payroll tax relief, and tax credits or breaks for hiring people, like legislation proposed by our own representative from West Lynn. As I mentioned earlier, small business creates 60 to 80% of the new jobs in this nation. It is why it is so critically important that we consider policies that will not further hamstring business and their efforts to creating those jobs. Pursue policies that will not overburden them or overtax them, but policies that will encourage them, incentivize them, and help them grow American jobs. Thank you, Mr. Speaker.